Alright, so welcome to BMNG Drive. I actually have my Logitech wheel and pedal kit going on, and I'm wearing 4-inch stilettos to see just how stupid it feels to drive in something as outrageous as this. And yeah, I'm wearing a skirt too to complete the look, because who wears heels with shoes? Anywho, so yeah, you're going to hear clicky-clacky of heels against my 3-pedal kit. Here, I got my shifter, I got my wheel. I gotta put it in stinking drive first, but I gotta find a brake pedal. Alright, drive, and let's go ahead and go. Alright, so already my foot is kind of precariously balanced on the 4 inch stiletto part instead of being firmly planted on the deck like when I wear my work shoes or just barefoot for the simulator purposes here. So my foot angle is all weird and jacked up and it feels like I'm just balancing it because literally it's what I'm doing and using the stiletto part as a fulcrum to leverage my foot down into the pedal. And I'm veering over the line, but we'll fix that in a bit. Oh, okay, unlike the last two videos I did with Beam, this is completely sober. So yeah, ladies who decide to drive while wearing stilettos, I get you, let's get woed up here on this. Actually, it's not even a stop, is it? Okay, it's clear. I should probably remap the controls of the steering wheel to map my shift, uh, uh, the panel shifters on the wheel kit as turn indicators. There are some buttons on here I can use to map certain things, I just haven't mapped everything yet. So yeah, this is my beater, 1980s American sedan, front wheel drive, I think it's a two. Can I even see? Yeah, it's a two. Well, it's not wreck here today. <laughs> Who knew third person driving in real life would be really bad for you? Anyway, so yeah, this is balance is all kind of screwed up on my foot. So let's actually go to speed limit. I'm doing what 35 and a 50. I think this is a 50 zone. Oh, I can't use the down button on D-pad here as a. Let's go up the hill. Holding, uh, I'm all over the road there. What this game does not accurately do for you is give you the sense of weight transfer as you're like getting thrown around in your car by taking turns turns too fast. So even though it looks like it's it's pretty accurate and it kind of is, it's missing that aspect. I mean, you can, I think you can output this game into a motion control rig, which would be epic. I don't have the space, the money, or the time to devote to putting a full motion control rig in my house. I'm, I'm renting, I have a small bedroom, which is this is in, and it's already cramped enough as it is, and I bust out this wheel and pedal kit, and it's like, yeah, I can't even get past it to get to my closet right now. It's either I roll out of the seat left to get to the closet, or roll out to the seat right, bang into the shifter, because that's where it's at, to get out of my room. It's, <laughs> it's not very ideal. As terms of how my feet feel in these heels, because they're, I hate standing in them, they're, they're absolutely painful, I don't know why women put themselves through this trash. Maybe it's because it makes their butt look good, maybe it's because men force them to do it, I don't know. Maybe, that, maybe they get used to the pain, I guess, I don't know. Please help me understand why this is a thing. But, as for sitting down, it's not uncomfortable at all, it's like having your heels propped up on something, and your feet are just kind of a little bit lower than your heels. Balls of your foot. Ooh, we should do something stupid. Let's take the tunnel. Risky driving while wearing compromised footwear. Let's turn the lights on here. Old abandoned mine shaft with a really nice flat dirt uh, ground. It's not all full of rocks or whatever. I think this is literally just a straight shot through to the other side of the hill. Getting a little close there on the right side. I am having to pay a lot more attention of where my f what my feet are doing because normally when I play with the simulator kit, I play barefoot. Yeah, see right here. Oh. Got it. Up oh, and move my foot. Ah. Well, that was genius. Let's go ahead and throw that in reverse. Am I stuck on something? I probably am. 
Oh yeah, I messed up something. Smashed into that tree. Alright, so we gotta get out of here, so we're gonna have to go gun it. I don't think I have enough speed. Yeah, trying to get out, out of this little uh, area here is like not fun at all. I might pop it into third person mode. Oh, there's rocks too. Rocks everywhere. Oh, if we just kind of go sideways a little bit here. Nope, neutral. I think I screwed up my bumper or something fierce. Well, let's go third person and see how screwed up we are. Oh yeah, I'm 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 dragging my bumper. Let's turn those off. Hey. Well, let's just do a quick bumper delete. Can I grab it? There we go. Bumper delete. That's good. That's good for some uh, free weight savings. Okay. Reverse. Come on, car. You can do it. I'm gonna bottom out, aren't I? Nope. Nope. I actually got it. All right. Minimal wear and tear on my beater car. That's why beaters are awesome, because you don't care about dings and dents and other things. Yeah, off-road madness with four inch stilettos on. Awesome. It'd probably suck to drive, or not suck to drive, suck to walk around in dirt with these things. Your feet would probably just sink right into it. Some video snippet of a lady wearing heels going across a football field, or trying to anyway, and her heels just go right into the, sit into the grass. Probably not a good idea. All that weight in a very small surface area means you're gonna sink. Supposedly you can get ran over by a tank, your foot can get ran over by a tank tread, and because the weight spread out over a large area, it feels less pressure than getting ran over by a car, or getting your foot ran over by a car tire, which I've had happen to me before once. I stepped out of the car, put my foot down, the buddy was not done parking, so he kept driving, even though he saw me just get out of the car, runs over my foot, I was like, yo, move, move forward some more. He's like, well, why'd you get out of the car? I was like, well, why are you still driving? <laughs> After I got out of the car. I'm like still right here by the car guy. So yeah, it was fun. So it was kind of both our faults and we both kind of blamed each other for it, which I guess is fair. Anywho, the cave entrance is not oh, right there. We just passed it. I think we'll just go back to the repair shop here because I said, yo, I um I think I lost something on the road back there. I actually wasn't even I lost something back there in the in a culvert. Drain pipe pissed off the rear pedal. The problem with this wheel pedal kit is it's three pedal. So if you say, oh, that's the brake pedal. No, it's actually the clutch. And this is an automatic. It doesn't have a clutch. It has a torque converter. Totally different. I mean, my, my actual real life car has a third pedal, but it's the e-brake. Parking brake. Which is weird. It's uh, my 88 Grand Prix. 89 Grand Prix had a uh, had a parking brake that was a foot pedal on the far left. Goofy spot for it, but whatever. It is what it is. I still got ABS. I think I got ABS. Yeah, if I didn't have ABS, I would have locked those tires right up. Anywho, so what's all good with you guys? I've been uh, having fun doing stuff like this. Not recording it, just having fun with it. Discovered Elite Dangerous, kind of like it, kind of think it's cool. It's like Eve, but you can play by yourself and not worry about getting ganked by people for fun and profit or just kicks. And I want that kill mail! Like, yeah, why? It's. Is it clear? I think it's clear. There's no car. I don't have correspondent, obviously, but. Thought about it, decided, nah. Just do this experiment with stinking four inch stilettos without any of the traffic in here and make sure I don't wreck the car. What is the speed limit in here? I keep forgetting what it is. What am I doing? 47, 48, like 50 miles an hour? Yeah, that's good enough. Watch be like 55. You can actually get pulled over in some parts of the country for going under the speed limit, like dangerously slow, because 
people are stacking up behind you, getting all irritated and mad about it because you're going under the limit. A coworker of mine actually got pulled over in California for going under what was considered normal. He was doing 10 over the limit. Eight, uh, CH Chips pulled him over and said, you need to speed up some. Because <laughs> people are going around. It's 60 through here. They're mad. There's no way this is safe at 60. Let's go see. This is 60. I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable driving this at 60. Especially if you got to turn off here. and. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see if I can reverse. Let's see here. We'll just. All right. Can't stink and see uh, because this can the way this controller is configured. I can't actually tell. I think that's correct. I'm centering it in the mirror. Well, no. If I hit it, wow, I'm really close to that side. Okay, cool. I'm going to bang into the pillar on the side there. Watch. Oh, I actually didn't. <laughs> I hit the toolbox, though. And then I got stuck on a toolbox. Well, how's that stinking work? How? Oh, okay, that's hell. Now I am off centered. Actually, that's not too bad. I mean, really, I'd want to—I'd want to sneak forward a little bit. There. Park it. Parking brake. There. Now they can service my car and find out how crapped up my undercarriage is here. Well, my exhaust is still intact. Still got a muffler. Everything looks like it's all there. I didn't lose any mirrors. I just lost my stupid bumper cover. But I still actually have the bumper, so... Yeah, that works. That's that's fine, right? It's a beater. Who cares? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. If I can figure out how to stop my... <laughs> Reset, stop my recording.